Good morning, folks, and happy Slide Guitar Sunday. Here we are, another Sunday, a beautiful Sunday here in West Virginia. It's going to be almost 80 degrees today. I am just digging it. I've got all my shorts. I'm ready to go outside. Um, today, we're going to look at a tune by a guy named Mentor Morris called Drift Away. It's one that I've played in many cover bands, um, and it's a tune, again, that... You know, as you're working your way through time with slide guitar, it's one you wouldn't think of. But what are you going to do if you're primarily a slide player like me and you end up playing with a cover band, whether it be a country band or classic rock or whatever, um, you got your slide, might as well use it, right? All right, so the version of this tune that I draw from is, of course, the big hit by Dobie Gray. Um, so I would urge you, go out, listen to the tune. It's got a lot of nice, soulful guitar in it. Um, really no slide, but it's got soulful guitar. So, I'm not going to play through this entire thing. Let's go through it in sections, okay? Because there's a couple of different sections. So, let me just play through a little bit. Now, I'm in open D, which is starting to be... Many people ask me, what is your main tuning? Really, it is open D. That's D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And that's just because I'm most familiar with it. And it's easiest for me to figure out tunes to play in open D. All right, so let's just start with the intro. Here it is. All right, everybody remember that? Oh man, what a great intro. So all I'm doing is going up to the 12th fret on the third string and then playing three, strings three, four, and five at the 12th fret. And then I'm playing strings two, three, and four. And then I'm going to get some behind the slide stuff. Like that. And what am I doing? I'm taking the slide up to the 14th fret on the second string. And then I use my second finger on the 13th fret of the third string and my first finger on the 12th fret of the fourth string. Essentially, I'm making that, uh, that G. So... Like that, you know. And then I'm coming back. So then it's going to be uh, second and third string at the 12th fret. And then fifth, fourth, and third sing string at the 12th fret. Okay, so again. Then. So what am I doing there? I'm using my first finger behind the slide at the third fret, pressing down. Then I'm playing the fifth fret with the slide on the fourth string and the fifth fret with the slide on the fifth string. And then I'm coming back with the slide and playing across all strings five, four, three, and two at the fifth fret. So, and then six open, one, two, and three open. So again, The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go up to the fifth fret. Day after day, I'm so confused. All right, so basically you're playing through the chords. You're gonna go fifth, fifth fret. Day after day, I'm so open. And then fifth fret. To the light, seventh fret, pouring rain, ain't open. Fifth fret, da 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 da. Now, all that is is an E minor, and I'm going so. I'm playing it like this, which basically I take my middle finger and put it on the second fret on the sixth string. My third finger, second fret on the fourth string, first finger, first fret on the third string, and the top two strings open. Then fourth fret on the on the sixth string. Then we're gonna do the G again at the fifth fret with the slide. All right, so that's how far we are. Now let's talk about some of the fills. I've got some things outlined here. Let's talk about some of the fills you can do. All right, so. Starting from the beginning. Okay. 
Here we go. All right, what was that? All right, so that was, you're at the 12th fret, right? On strings two, three, and four. Then you're gonna take your first finger and lay it down on the 10th fret of the third string and play string four, three, two. And then take your first finger off and play and play 12 again across all three of those strings. So, so you're leaving your slide at the 12th fret. And that's a good reminder. It's good to take time to sit and which is something I need to do too, to sit and just make sure your intonation with your slide is correct, especially when you're playing behind the slide. Then you're going to come back and play that. Now, so I have a kind of a cool little lick here. All right, so it's... All right. <clears throat> this is a lick that may or may not fit in when you're playing with a group. When I do it by myself, I do this lick. All right, all it is, you're arpeggiating at the fifth fret strings six, four, three, and two. Like that. Now, that's the second finger on the fourth fret on the second string. Third, first finger, third fret, third string. Okay, and you can. And you can kind of keep the slide on, but it makes a nice. So, second, third string, fifth fret, and then what I showed you, and then fifth fret, third and fourth string. And then back to that open D. chords I showed you. All right, so now we're back up to the 12th fret. And we're going to do that lick. So this is where, you know, da 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 da. Then in the now. Give me the beat, boys. Like that. And all that is, is again, you're going to use strings two, three, and four. You're going to have the slide on string four. First finger on the tenth fret on string three. And then you just lift the finger up and let the slide catch it on the twelfth fret. And then play the second string at the twelfth fret. And then... You're going to kind of hammer behind it with your third finger coming down. So, and then you're going to come back to the third string, play the 12th fret with the slide, hammer down with your first finger, 10th fret, and then 12th fret again on the fourth fret. So, fourth string. So, let's go again. Now, you're going to notice that my slide is, is lifting a little bit, like a little bit. You guys who do like... Uh, I don't know, machinist type work. You can think in terms of micrometers, you know, of a micrometer. It, you're just very small measurements. So. And then you're going to go back to the seventh fret after you do that lick. Now, and that's. And what is that? All I'm doing at the seventh fret is using that Sonny Landreth move. Coming back to the fifth fret with my first finger, but I'm using an arpeggio. So I'm going string two at the fifth fret, three, seven, four, seven. And then I'm playing two, three, and four together at the seventh fret. All right, now. Okay, so what have I got going there? All right, so it's... All right, the, all that lick is, is it's, a, it's kind of a, a take on the other lick I showed you. All that is is 
we're at the fifth fret with the slide across strings two, three, and four. We're going to take our second finger and put it on the fourth fret of the second string and get this. And then third fret with our first finger on the third string. And then come back and play at the fifth fret on the fourth and third strings. Okay, so that sounds like this. Two. Now you got that ba da da ba da da ba da da ba ba that little lick. I just do this. All right, all that is is arpeggiating or play <laughs> arpeggiating. Is that even a word, you guys? I don't even know. All right, here it is. Fifth fret slide strings four, three, and two. Four, three, two. Okay, then first finger or second finger goes on the fourth fret of the fourth string. First finger. 3rd fret, 3rd string, slide 5th fret of the 2nd string. So, and then you're going to come up with a slide to the 7th fret of the 5th string, and you can use your finger to bar across the 4th and 3rd strings at the 5th fret and go 4, 3. And then... 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string, 5th fret. 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string, 7th fret. All right. Now, there's lots of different things you can do in this. And when you dig into the tabs that I've got for you guys on Patreon, you can see much more than what I've presented to you here. Now, let me just run through a little bit of this. Because you're going to have that. All right. Now, let me show you this lick, because this lick's a little bit challenging. You're actually going to have to stretch your hand a little bit, because you want the 4th fret on the 1st string, and the 7th fret on the rest of the strings, basically. Alright, now, that's tough to get because you're going to have a tendency to want to pull down like this to stretch, but you got to keep the slide up so you can get that note to sound. Okay, now, that's going to be in the tabs, but for you guys who are on YouTube, I want you to see that. There's another, another behind the slide move you can make with this. And then, of course, you're going to have the... And it goes on and on from there. All right, folks. Happy Slide Guitar Sunday. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in the tabs, it's a dollar for a membership over on Patreon. Um, over here on YouTube and everything, please like and follow if you feel like this is worth it. Um, it really helps me keep this channel going. Uh, if I can build up more and more subscribers and, and keep going like that. So, guys, have a great week. I'll see you next week for more Slide Guitar Sunday.